So we're bound to ask mm. then, is it just a blip? Because there's a, obviously the government has a levelling up agenda now with poorer communities in the north of the country. Our health care is getting better. It does with every generation. So, so is it just a blip and is life expectancy going to rise into the future? Uh, our health care isn't necessarily getting better. The, the rises in it are much less than the rises in health spending which there were before 2010. Uh, the austerity which local authorities face is just as high and it's local authorities who provide most of the services which are needed. Infant mortality actually began to rise after 2015, 2016, 17, 18. More babies died at a higher rate each year in England. They didn't in Scotland and in Scotland they decided to actually spend more on infants and babies and there they have reduced the infant mortality rate. So, Dan Danny, the, the image people have here in America of the UK is that this is a, ca a country with a very robust social welfare net and a very robust health system. But the situation you're describing actually mirrors some of the things that I've heard happening here in the United States. Not that bad, but is England drifting in that direction? Uh, England is moving towards, say, one of the better off states of the United States. Uh, the United States has worse life expectancy than... Europe, it has much higher infant mortality than Europe. England is beginning to be more and more like a state of the United States. Scotland, interestingly, is moving towards being slightly more like the Scandinavian countries, which have incredibly good health outcomes. Finland has the lowest infant mortality mm. rate in the world. And so we're seeing a kind of splitting apart in the United Kingdom in terms of spending, policy, beliefs and outcomes. Mm -hmm.